What's happening? Top of the morning. Friday. I'm pissed because I, I, I tried to do this yesterday. I tried to shoot a video last night for Frisco. Six minutes. I can't get back on my life. No sound. It better not be happening right now. Uh, shout out to Ryan for coming on and telling me. Just like my son did in my two, three videos back for the first part of that video. So I'll be working on that. Uh, but <laughs> we'll come in and talk about the team before we get to Sunday. It's Friday now. Not Thursday night, and uh, I start working about five minutes. But I mean, I wanted to get this shit out. So, um, a lot of players have been injured for us this week. A lot of players on the injury report, not practicing, and that's not a good sign with the game that we have coming up. Uh, there's some surprises though, as far as who actually may be playing for us this Sunday uh, based off what happened last week. So just to give uh, an idea, really, of who's been out of practice for the last two days. Hasty, ankle, Maurice Hurst, Bosa, got a rest day. Fred Warner, he's not practicing. Elijah Mitchell, rest day. Sermon, this is for Wednesday. Sermon, ankle didn't practice. Marcel, didn't practice. Concussion protocol. Greenlaw, re-aggravated his groin. We know he didn't practice. Debo, he always had a groin injury. He didn't practice. Uh, Trent Williams had a rest day, and Alex Mack had a rest day. And if you saw yesterday, the clip of Alex Mack rumbling down the field at the, I want to say, like 2017, Pro Bowl with a pitch and getting into the end zone. That's our sooner, baby. All right, so then, you know, who didn't actually practice? Yesterday, it got a little better. Uh, so, so, participants yesterday, it was only Greenlaw, still growing. Marcel Harris, Debo, still growing. Trey Summon ankle. Hasn't been said really how severe that is. And then Fred Warner. Um, but apparently, Mr. Warner is trying to play uh, in Sunday's game. He's, I think, played in all 63 of his eligible games since he's coming to the league. And he's not having that great of a season. So, he doesn't want to miss that game against Seattle, I'm sure. He wants to be able to show out. Plus, he knows in, <laughs> in a minute, Greenlaw and Al are going to have him on the bench. They're going to both have to be out playing him. So, uh, let's see if Fred's going to be able to play. He said that he's trying to do everything that he can to get into that game. Uh, Nick Bosa and... George Kittle yesterday both made reference to that in their press conferences. The fact that um, they've seen him this week looking as though he's doing everything he can to actually try to play uh, in a game on Sunday. So look out for that. Warner might play. If not, Cal Shanahan has already stated that Aziz will be wearing the green dot on his helmet. He will be the quarterback of the defense, starting middle linebacker, calling the plays. So Respect to him. He's had a really good season, I feel. And I think that he'll have no issue. He won't do any worse than Fred does. Um, recovering the field and calling the plays. Uh, and then one last note. For this game, who we really need, we know everyone is Jimmy. We need Jimmy to play well. We need him to play like Jimmy G and Jimmy Polo. And he's not bad, Jimmy. So he made reference in this press conference that someone asked him. Wasn't that that guy whose name starts with a G, um, and then his last name ends with an N? It wasn't him. That, that fake commentator or fake journalist. Uh, but somebody asked him why he throws flat-footed. I thought that was like the best question that someone could have asked. Um, you know, opposite of someone asking him, you know, did he hear that he was going to get traded? Uh, but uh, he said that it's because of pressure. And pressure make a man do a lot of different things. Uh, it can bring the best out of a man. It can bring the worst out of a man. And we all experience that every day. And for Jimmy, you don't look like it brings too good of a uh, 
a skill set out of him when he's uh, faced with pressure. He said that himself. That's a bunch of bullshit. He just likes to throw the ball flat-footed. But still, um, it was a good shot. He always has an excuse for everything. He's the cliche king. I got a video coming on that, too. He is the cliche king, Jimmy Garoppolo. I think he knows every cliche in the book. If he was on uh, Will of Fortune and he had, like, phrase, which I think was really good, he would win. Because he knows all he knows all the phrases, all the cliches in the world that you can think of. Uh, he had quite a few of them yesterday uh, in the presser. So let me know what you think. Uh, I gotta get started for work. Is this gonna be an easy game for us? Will all these injuries matter, uh, or will you know it be the next man up mentality uh, and we get business taken care of? Let me know again what you think about what I think. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the video. It really helps the channel. I appreciate you. Y'all be safe.